Okay, my story is why I'm alive today, which is that during the Vietnam War, I was about to get drafted and sent to Vietnam, and so I said, wait a minute, I can be a school teacher in Harlem. I ended up being a school teacher, but how did it happen? It happened because when I went to get the job at 110 Livingston Street, there were hundreds of young men <clears throat> standing on line, and they were all angry because they said, we got to get a job. And so I stood on this line, and you know, I saw it was hopeless. So many people wanted to get the job, and then it became lunchtime. They were beating up on this poor clerk. We got to get a job, blah, blah, blah. And I didn't go to lunch. I just hung around, and I said to myself, this guy is in difficulty, this clerk, because everybody's angry at him. They want something from him. It's life dependent. And so at a certain point, I went up to him during the lunch hour. He was sitting there kind of morose, and I said, I just said to him, it must be very hard to be in this kind of position. And at that point, he just broke down, and he said, yes, he said, I want to help people, but I have limited means. I can't. And I was somebody who was sympathizing with him. That's all I was doing. I felt for him being in a bad position. Well, the moral of the story is that a half hour later, a job came across his desk, and he said, hey, this is a job for you, and he gave me the job. So I ended up being a fifth grade teacher in Harlem for a year. I didn't do it with that in mind. I did it just because I felt for him. And I guess the moral of my story is, if you extend a helping hand to people at a moment, it's remarkable how it can change the situation.